everyone and welcome to our instructional video on how to navigate around AB Quantum. So here we're on the welcome screen of AB Quantum and we can navigate to any one of these pages by simply tapping on them. So if I tap on settings, it opens up the settings menu. If I tap on shoot, it opens up the shoot menu. To get to the home screen from any page, click the center icon here and just tap home. This will bring you here to the welcome screen. For instance, if I'm on devices and I tap the center icon, I can go back to the welcome screen if you want to. You can also navigate by using the navigation bar down here. So if I click on devices or if I click on shoot, it'll navigate between those menus as well from the navigation bar. With that being said, we're now on the shoot menu, so let's go over some further navigation items from in here. From any one of the screens that you have, if you have your gun profile here on the top left and you click on it, it will take you to quick edit that gun profile. If you make a change and then you back out, it'll ask if you wish to save it. You can click on the Bluetooth icon up here to bring up the devices page if you wish to do that or you can click on devices down here. And this icon will be lit green. This one will be green anytime there's an active device paired. Right now the device is asleep. Um, you can also open up a sub navigation menu when you're here on the shoot page or any page when you click this center icon. And if there's more options, it'll bring them up. In this case, we have our remote our remote view or our device control page. This allows us to see what our device sees and control it. We also have our target card here. So here's our target card that we can access. And you can see this symbol changes based on the page that you're on. And we have our range card. And you'll notice with all of these pages here at the top, we still have access to quick edit our profile, access our devices, and then we have our current subscription level. And it'll tell us more information about that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the HUD now. And further here, we have some more navigation options. That's our solution, our reticle view page, and WES. So we can access those. Uh, some of these are going to be found on controllers, and we'll go ahead and talk about controllers here in a little bit. But um, for instance, WES here, you can make adjustments to WES with the WES controller. And we'll go over navigating those later on. But you do have your firing solution, reticle, and WES. Uh, for the HUD, the reticle offers, I'll bring up that reticle controller real quick. In the HUD, the reticle offers the ability to uh, have your solution or your subtensions. Okay, so we have that. Now, if I were to go to our target card, we have our solutions or our, and navigate to reticle here on the reticle tab. We have our solution or our sub tensions um, from the target card here. The reason it looks like that is because the winds earlier were uh, a little bit strong. So let's go ahead and dial those back. So I'm going to set the wind here to two, two and 10. There it looks more, more normal for you. Um, but bring up that reticle controller again. But you do have solution and subtension options, uh, and this will display your target card in the reticle as long as there's no collisions uh, of these outputs. Further moving on here, we're going to go to the range card, and you'll find the same thing, range card and reticle. Now here, um, the reticle will output your solution uh, or your subtensions, which is your solution is the range card. But that's how you navigate around uh, AB Quantum. So you have these tabs here. There is one t uh, more screen that's going to have a bit of a unique tab. I'll bring that up here, and it's the graph screen. So on the graphs, I'll bring up the graph controller. The graph controller, you may or may not have this. If you're a pro level subscriber, you do have the ability to compare cartridges. So with this graph controller, I can bring another rifle in, and we can see both of those here. Um, Something else, though, that you'll find is that there's a custom graph where I can select the output that I want to see from a list of outputs. Uh, also, you'll see a chrono tab. So in this case, this profile has uh, data from a Bluetooth chronograph that works with AB Quantum, the, the Mach 4 Plus, and you can see the output of that data here in the graph um, from that specific uh, shot group. If I were to switch this profile to something that didn't have that, you can see here that indicator for that. But if we bring up this profile, for instance, and then I go back to the shoot screen, you'll see that that's no longer available because there's no custom uh, data from a chronograph for that profile. 
So just be aware with compatible Bluetooth chronographs, you actually get that graph data. So I'm going to switch back to that so you can see that. We'll scroll down here and we will bring up that 17 HMR and we'll go back to the shoot screen. And there it is. So you do have that custom chronograph data as well. Now I'm going to move back to the HUD and then we're going to go back to the HUD and we're going to talk about controllers. So it's another navigation feature here in the app. This bar right here that you'll find on the HUD, you'll also see it on other pages. Here it is on the range card. What that is, is that's the current controller that we're on. And the controller has this data down here. So we can open that up and we can bring up other controllers. Now, you may not see the WES one, you may not see the graph, and if you don't have an a reticle selected on the profile you won't see the reticle you may not see the speed tracker because you don't have that paired but just know that there are a set of controllers here that are available and they'll display or not display depending on characteristics of the app and profile so we have the environment controller which has the environmental information on it we have the target controller which has your azimuth inclination latitude moving target information that's all found there there's the WES controller, so we have our WES here, our WES output, and you have your WES controller where you can adjust those parameters for WES. We have our graph controller, we went over that already. Ballistic calibration has a submenu here, so we need to select our calibration type. So we come here to ballistic calibration controller, and then we have our muzzle velocity calibration tool, our CDF calibration tool, and our DSF calibration tool, all found inside that ballistic calibration controller. We'll keep going here, we have our reticle controller. Here we can control some of the reticle information. And then here we have our speed tracker, or in, the, in this case, our speed tracker, but our paired uh, Bluetooth chronograph. And you can use the last shot velocity or your average velocity if you want. And there's other things that you can, you can manage from here. And that's how you navigate AB Quantum. Pretty easy. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, again, you can use this navigation bar at the bottom. You can tap on the center icon and bring up even more items and including the support items. So if you need to send us a support ticket, have a question, a problem, just tap on that support button and send it our way and we'll be happy to answer. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please give us ideas in the comments on what you'd like to see. Uh, as always, I hope this video helps and I hope you have a great day.